can't bust in. Up with it again. He's on the ice with Aginla. Aginla stopping. Sidney Crosby, the golden goal. The game of hockey can have a unique way of uniting a nation together, such as Sidney Crosby's golden goal during the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver. Hockey has the power to connect individuals throughout a country through its ability to empower the spiritual, social, and physical mindsets of its followers. Consequently, the strong emotions that are sparked from the game of hockey can often lead to athletes' hopes and dreams diminished at the hands of heartbreak as well as prolonged pain and suffering. However, the way an athlete controls their frame of mind towards their sport can allow them to express their morals, behavior, and values in a unique way. Father David Bauer is well known for his role as the head coach of the Canadian men's Olympic hockey team that attended the 1964 Winter Olympics in Innsbruck, Austria. However, Bauer's unique philosophy to the game of hockey reflects his ideals from his primary calling as an educator and as a Catholic priest. Through analysis of Father Bauer's philosophy of the game, we can try to answer the question, how can Christian faith through the game of hockey improve the development of an individual as well as promote a sense of nationalism amongst the country? Through looking at values of muscular Christianity in different ethical and theological lenses, we can conclude that athletes' performance while playing hockey at the international level can have a drastic impact on their ability to be considered good citizens that reflect the moral and cultural values of their respective countries. When we begin to discuss the values of Father Bauer as an educator and a priest, the values that align with his promotion of an individual's health and well-being reflect that of muscular Christianity. An article by Matheson said, Perfection of character is to be reached by moral effort in the faithful following of our Lord's life on earth. One of Bauer's main views was to promote the education of young athletes in order to develop their mental well-being as well as prepare them for a world that was full of social conflict. The Bible says about education, how much better to acquire wisdom than gold. To gain understanding is more desirable than silver. This can be backed up using Seitz's article which says, religious students were found to exhibit greater physical well-being than their non-religious counterparts. They were more likely to find meaning and purpose in the midst of difficult circumstances and more likely to be at peace and centered during chaotic circumstances. This is because when an athlete commits him or herself to rounding out as an individual, they will recognize their strength through the power of understanding through their faith, and it allows them to make connections on what it means to be themselves as well as develops a spiritual understanding of their place in the world and why it was created. An example of faith through hockey can be seen through former NHLer Jerome McGinley. To be consistently excellent. It's about working hard, trying to work harder than the next guy, push yourself, and it's preparation. I try to give myself the best chance. I believe in God. Stay close and, and pray daily and, and you know, I, I have to pray, believe, and do the work. Once I go on the ice, I do the best I can and I leave it. If the goalie saves it, my next shot's going in. Bauer once said, if you can improve the boy as a person, he will improve as a hockey player. In an interview with former NHLer Brian Conacher about Bauer, he said, he saw hockey as an experience that could teach and develop men of character and fiber. Hockey is a game that could help teach one how to play the game of life. The values of learning can be seen through the ethical lens of eritism, that promote the values of learning about not only yourself, but the importance and values of others. These muscular Christian principles can also apply to Bauer's removal to the professionalization for athletes at the amateur level. When we consider these athletes at play, we have to consider them as citizens of character and citizens of a nation. Bauer believed that hockey developed character and that the overuse of an individual's body and the use of violence in the game of hockey go against the muscular Christian values that argue an individual's self-discipline and health is of the utmost importance. An article by Peterson backs this up by saying, man must discipline his body physically and morally to become healthy and influential. In the same way, a country must assert control over socially disruptive forces in order to become a great and holy nation. 
Bauer's views on the game of hockey also extend to the Olympic level. The Olympics are a unique sporting event that compounds the use of muscular Christianity and theology to create a festival that has the opportunity to not only provide athletes with physical development, but also mental and spiritual development. The importance of the spirit of the games can be seen through former Canadian women's Olympic athlete, Natalie Spooner. It never gets old, really. I mean, every time you get to put it on and represent your country, it's an honor. And um, doing it at the Olympics, I think, is, is something bigger than all of us. You know, you get to not only play for hockey for your country, but you get to also be a part of a Team Canada that's bigger than just the hockey team. And I think that that's so special to be able to do that with so many Canadian athletes. During the 1964 games in Innsbruck, Austria, Swedish forward Carl Olberg broke his stick out of frustration while the shaft of his stick flew off and struck Bauer's right eye. Although there was frustration and anger looming amongst the athletes during the game, it was Bauer's Christian principles that prevailed and his power to forgive that gave Bauer the idea to invite Oberg to watch the Soviet Union play the team from Czechoslovakia the next day. This is an example of the first and second laws of Christian faith, which are love of God and love of thy neighbor. It also shows how the games call on a higher power to develop traits such as sportsmanship in order to preserve peace and harmony in order to allow the spiritual aspect of the games to prevail. The Christian belief is in a God who is personal and relational and whose nature is to reach out beyond himself to embrace creation and all that dwells in it. This fundamental connectedness is at the heart of the universe and informs a Christian understanding of citizenship. These religious aspects that are applied to the games also promote Bauer's view on the idea of unity and the importance of solidarity through a theological lens, not only amongst Canadians, but amongst the world as a whole. While Bauer's team competed in Innsbruck, their hard work and dedication resulted in a three-way tie for the silver medal. However, a last-minute decision on behalf of the IOC and the IIHF resulted in the decision to instead award the silver medal to Sweden and bronze to Czechoslovakia based on a goal differential system, holding the Canadians off the podium. However, it was the mindset of Bauer that prevailed as one that promoted the values of striving for excellence as opposed to a martial commercial win-at-all-costs approach to the game. The Bible reads, every athlete exercises control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. This explores how the games call upon us to recognize that athletes need to gain a disciple in all athletes of their lives, not just one that only focuses on victory. When the Olympic Games are held, there is only one winner who collects hardware that explains his commitment to his training, but it does not signify the development of that individual. The stronger the ties of fellowship and solidarity amongst men, the greater will be the power of constructiveness and accomplishments in all planes of human activity. The games offer all athletes an opportunity to grow in grace through empathy for athletes' mistakes, as well as teamwork and solidarity to respect your other team members, win or lose. Through our study of Father Bauer, it is clear that the values of Christianity through the game of hockey can have a dramatic effect on the building of citizens and the building of a nation. Athletes' pursuit to becoming a better individual that reflects the values of their country can be seen through the muscular Christian principles, such as taking care of their health and well-being, as well as channeling their elements of understanding the beauty of sport through the Olympics. But what these lenses really show us is that the development of an individual is to understand who they are as a person in the world. It shows that sport has a greater meaning that connects an individual to their faith, to believe that they can create a difference in the world and can be role models for their nation. Father Bauer's views on the game of hockey created a sense of unity, discipline, and hard work. These Christian values in the game of hockey can allow us to see that both on and off the ice, we can create a version of ourselves that allows athletes to lead a happy and healthier life.